Guys, and Ante asked about uh, what's the importance and, and my advice about judo and wrestling techniques in BJJ and how important and which way integrated in training. So, in my opinion, you know, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu has already all these takedown techniques. Uh, you can use for sure, and it's, you know, it's a great help if you can adapt it, wrestling and, and judo techniques to, to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And I think it's not just the technique, but the way they train. I think if we see the way they train to imp implement their technique and bring to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, that's the, the most important. So let's say the, the judo guy, he teaches ultimata, but he not just teach how to, to do the ultimata, he teaches how to drill the ultimata, how to do the specific training. So that's what you gotta get. Because in Jiu Jitsu, we have already the ultimata, but the judo guys, they are so focused on that, that they have many ways of drilling that and improving that position. That is something that we can, you know, we can really take advantage. And with wrestling, it's the same. Like I always learn how to do doubles and single legs, but once I start to go, especially to United States, to, to wrestling trainings with my friends over there, I start to learn their system of training. So everybody in Jiu Jitsu learn a double, but how you do a good double. So it's not just technical details because the, the good Jiu Jitsu guys, they will get that. But the most important is how you train that, how you train to get the right timing, how you train to get the right condition of your legs and lower back. And so you get that when you go to wrestling training because they're very focused on that. This is, you know, a big part of their game to do singles and double. So how they do, how they train that, how they do their specific training, that's where you should get. Sometimes people are too focused on the technical side, but you know, it's not the technical side, it's how to implement that in a real situation. That's the most important. And that's something that I, I learned a lot with my, my wrestling friends and my judo friends. And once you bring this training to jiu-jitsu, you can also adapt it to techniques that are specific for jiu-jitsu training. So let's say one, one thing that I like very much to do that I learned from wrestlers, they do a lot of training that is kind of easy, but not soft. You know what I mean? In jiu-jitsu, sometimes we do position, we do very soft and we roll like 100% live. So in wrestling, many guys, at least the guys that I know, they do a lot of times a training like that is kind of 50% resistance. It's not live, but it's not really soft. So that way, I think you learn a lot and you can implement that on jiu-jitsu training. So let's say I like to warm up the guys like that. So let's get in the close guard and I need to open the guard and pass the guard with a specific technique. But I don't let the guy on bottom just relax. The guy should give some resistance, some reaction, different reaction. And it's a good way to warm up. And as the guy increasing the reaction, it's a good way to test the techniques and the new techniques. It's much better than just do very soft studying position that is good to do in the end of the training, at least that's the way I do or to do just full power because then you don't learn nothing you just do what you do well or you take much more time to improve something okay so i hope i answer your question thank you